Hello basketball fans, I'm Rob Schreier and welcome to Hardwood Heroes, your source for Tri-Valley Conference basketball. The journey to the top of this TVC is a long and winding journey, but don't worry, Hardwood will be here to break down all the action. Highlights, in-depth analysis, and exclusive feature content, we've got it all for you. But without further ado, let's get right to it. And unlike the weather conditions outside, the TVC Hawking is just heating up and a handful of teams are vying for the league crown. Eastern sits atop the standings currently with an undefeated 8-0 start to the season, but Waterford is also undefeated in the conference, and standout guard Cena King has been fueling that team. Not far behind them are both Trimble and Federal Hawking, who exchanged spots this week after the Tomcats edged the Lancers on Thursday. And as we welcome things open here to uh, Aaron Laviola, who's covering Athens, and Matt Ball, who's covering Federal Hawking, we'll start with you, Matt. What are some of the keys for this team to be successful? Rob, this team is really best when they spread the ball around and everyone is getting involved. The uh, best way their offense runs is when they have a balanced attack, when multiple people are scoring, not just the stars of the team. And they're, they're good on offense, as you just said, but what else do they do on defense that's good? Their defense is really a pressure ball handling. It's a man-to-man -man that gets in their face, but I guess, well, in this case, woman-to-woman. -woman. But uh, they're going to get in their face, try to clog those passing lanes, get turnovers, and easy buckets and transition. No, I mean, what team doesn't like to get those easy layups? Absolutely, on Alexander would. Uh, every, everybody loves that. But they've been a streaky team this year. They have had a winning streak of three and a losing streak of three. <clears throat> they've beat Nelsonville York on Wednesday in the most recent games in an overtime game that really showed the tenacity of this team. They lost their lead late in regulation, but were able to bounce back in overtime and win 48-47 uh, in a close game. And then in their most recent game on Thursday, they lost to Trimble 59-50 in a game where Trimble really got out and uh, they, they got out and won. They never were, uh, they were behind the whole time. But before I get into that game too much, I want to welcome uh, fellow reporter Adam Flanga, who's out that game with me. Adam, what did you see in that game? Well, you know, Matt, uh, I talked to Coach Dave Richards earlier in the week, and he said that he doesn't think that his team really had played four solid quarters yet. Well, I'll tell you what, Trimble really uh, came through for Coach Richards and put together that complete game this week. Their win against, um, that against Federal Hawking was huge and uh, started all with Taylor Savage, who had enforced turnovers all day long and uh, really led to easy buckets early on for the Tomcats. And, uh, I tell you, and Savage and the girls uh, worked really well together as a team um, using the uh, run and gun offense that Coach Dave Richards has uh, had since day one. They also struggled defensively, they didn't struggle defensively today as they had throughout the year, but um, they really pulled out an excellent win for Trimble, a, game, a team that uh, really had needed to uh, get a win and to keep uh, going uh, on their winning ways. Back to you, Rob. And so now that everyone's caught up on the season, let's allow reporters to let their hair down a little bit and do some analysis in a segment we like to call Fast Break. With nearly half of the season already complete, there's plenty of storylines to break down. And we're going to go back to Matt Archibald with the Federal Hawking Lancers. And Matt, how big has the loss been for uh, star Iris Butcher? Rob, this loss to Iris Butcher is huge. She, is, she was the best player on the team and a player that could take over a game single-handedly. I really have to give a sincere tip of the cap to this entire Lady Lancers squad. Uh, players have stepped up to fill the huge role that was left in Iris Butcher's absence. Now, Chanda Cuckler has emerged as the new go-to player and has uh, been the leading scorer nearly every game. Aside from her, Hannah McKibben may be one of the most consistent guards in the TVC. She's an excellent ball handler and distributor, getting everyone involved on offense. And then last but not least, Julie Vincent. Opposite of Cuckler, down low on the, on the post, she gets points in the paint and much-needed rebounds on both offense and defense. I mean, Iris Butcher was a huge loss, but it's good to see the teams or that the players have stepped up for that team and they really haven't lost any of their stride. But for a player who's still with their team, I want to talk to Adam Flango, who's covering uh, the Trimble Tomcats. And Adam, for Taylor Savage, what has she done to that team? Well, you know, Rob, Taylor Savage really is the floor general of the Lady Tomcats. She does everything for the team. Against Federal Hawking, she had 12 points and 8 assists and dictated the entire tempo of that game. She uh, started the entire. She started the game off uh, as part of the box and one, which had, uh, which really held Federal Hawking at bay. And her defensive pressure and offensive uh, ability really helped control the game for the Tomcats. And uh, pl there are plenty of stars in the TBC Hawking, and there'll be sure to be more of those more of those stars in each each week. Where there are plenty of games that are pressure packed throughout the area, but sometimes the magic of basketball just happens. In a Monday night, the Nelsonville York Buckeyes shocked to the TVC 
with the one-point victory over heavily favored Athens, who turned the ball 24 times in the contest. The Buckeyes were led by a dual uh, uh, scoring guard threat of Kelly Cox and Chelsea Martin, who both chipped in 12 points, and the, and the brown and orange never really trailed in the game and against the more experienced Bulldogs. But for more on that game, we want to uh, bring to the set Aaron Laviola and soon Maddie Kuhn. Uh, Aaron, we'll start with you. Kind of what, what, all, what happened in the game? Can I just say, when you said 24 turn turnovers, that stat makes me sick. Uh, <laughs> over, to, over to Maddie, I know you're over there. Um, let's, be, let's be honest here. Athens should have won this game. They had, the, they had the height, they have the experience. They, what, I, I'm, I'm, I still don't know what happened. Well, basically, Aaron, what it came down to was Nelsonville York played with more hustle and more heart. They came into this game with the right mindset, and they knew that on this night, the records didn't matter. And they also knew that because, that because of the record, not, <laughs> the record didn't matter. And so basically, they were able to just come in and take the win right away from Athens, even though Athens, they probably caught Athens on a night where they thought that because of their height and experience advantage, that maybe this would be an easy win for the Lady Bulldogs. But clearly, it wasn't that way, right, Aaron? wasn't at all and Elena Lean is always a big factor in a lot of these games because of her height she can reach over people and just grab balls but the Nelsonville Buckeyes managed to be very scrappy in there with them there were a few times where balls passed to her but they way over her head out of bounds there was no way she could have gotten those and I you know we you have to attribute that to Nelsonville's hustle and the fact that they hadn't won a game yet in the TVC they were ready for it the scrappiness definitely paid off for the Nelsonville York Buckeyes when the Athens Bulldogs would try and get a ball into Elena, maybe their height disadvantage worked for them in this case because they were down low to the floor and able to get those bounce passes. And then, like you said, when Athens would try and go over top, they would go right out of bounds. And also, it wasn't the cleanest game that I'd ever seen. However, Nelson York really, it paid off for them even when they were maybe lost a dribble on a fast break or the ball got tipped a little bit around underneath the basket. They were, it, always, it was able to end up back in their hands, and they were able to capitalize on that just enough to beat the Lady Bulldogs, Aaron. Absolutely. That's what, happen, that's what happens with Athens, it, but in the opposite direction. They, could not, they couldn't hit a layup. They couldn't hit their free throws, and they, got, they, just, they, they didn't play their game at all. And, we just, and uh, you know what? I have to tip my, hat, tip, tip my hat off to Nelsonville that they were able to, to pull away like that. And that was such a game. I mean, you talk about a game where you threw out the record books. That was truly the, the textbook definition of that game. But if you want any more recaps of this game and many more of the TVC, be sure to visit our website, www.woub.org slash heroes. Scores, schedules, features, and much more are there available to you. Content is up to daily, so be sure to check back with us after the games each night.